If someone prays for patience, you think God gives them patience? Or does he give them the opportunity to be patient? If they prayed for courage, does God give them courage? Or does he give them opportunity to be courageous? This is a song that I wrote that I dedicate to my father. My father, Bill Nelson. And I prayed to the God consciousness for strength, for love, for courage. I asked God to stop the pain. God said no. God gave me challenges, hardships, obstacles. He gave me more pain. He wanted to teach me and to shape me and to develop me and for me to develop strength, love, courage and the ability to endure. This is a story dedicated to my father. I asked God for strength. God gave me difficulties to make me strong. I asked God to make my handicapped child whole. God said Daniel's spirit is whole. He will teach you what handicap truly is. I asked God to give me happiness. He said no. I give you blessings and gifts and clarity of mind. I asked God for the health of the people that I might do greater things. I was shown sickness that I might do even better things. I asked God to take away the pain and God gave me suffering and pain and more pain to teach me what life is about. I asked God for wisdom. God said no. He gave me problems to solve. I asked God for prosperity. God said no. He gave me brawn and brain to work. I asked God for courage. He said no. They're dangerous to overcome. I asked for patience and God made me wait. I asked God for love and God said no. He gave me troubled people to help. I asked God for money. God said no. He gave me opportunities. I asked God to see my parents. God said you'll see them in your heart. I got nothing I asked for but everything I needed. We need protection in the world today. Protect us. I hope you me the FDA. But big tobacco, big sugar, big pharma got in the way. They will kill a million people today. So now I just want what I can say. FDA. FDA. FDA, get out of my way. I got to tell you. I got to tell you today. It's time to open your mind, you FDA. Tobacco's illegal for the miners today. But the boys and the FDA look away. We need the law. We need the law today. It's time to stop this FDA. Someone has to stop the killing today. Someone has to, has to find a way. Someone has to awaken our hearts today. Someone has to make this FDA pay. Slander attack me, you will lie me today. But I will awaken the world, you FDA. No matter how much you hate and you say, get out of my way, you FDA. Big tobacco, big sugar, big pharma got in the way. And they'll kill a million people today. So now I just got one thing I must say. Our FDA, gotta get out of my way. Got to tell you, got to tell you today. It's time to open your hearts, your world today. It's time to open your mind. It's time to see just what we are. The law, the law today. It's time to stop this killing today. Someone has to stop, has to stop the FDA. Someone got it.
If someone prayed for the family to be closer, do you think God zaps them with warm, fuzzy feelings? Or does he give them opportunities to love each other? Well, here I am with my new family. We are dedicated to bring an attention to the world, to look at life force, to recognize the power of life. Hello, everybody. Happy birthday to Mr. Nelson, to Desiree's father. And all I would like to say is that we are one, we are all a family, and we are here to save the world, support the planet, and make a change, make a difference, and enhance and and, and work on life force, creation, ideas. Happy so, birthday. So I just wanted to have a little attention, get her to you. I know the song's a little rough, but this came from my heart. And God's greatest gift to me was clarity of mind. 